Good morning, student. Today I discuss the second chapter, uh, second uh, second chapter, the second portion. Last class, we talk about the plate tectonic theory and how the earth forms. Angara land, Gondwana land, Pangaea, Panthalasa, everything. Now we come in main topics. That is the physical features of India. Main topic, the physical features. What is physical features? Physical features means the structural characters. This ka that is India's structural character. The structural character are known as a physical features of India. What is structural character? First, that is the Indian map, and we know that that is the north side, south, east, and west. and different area we call the india as a subcontinent why because different type of character physical character which we found all over the world we found in our india like the mountain desert if you go to the africa australia you found the desert our india have the desert if you go to the netherlands if you go to the australia we found there the coastal sea beach our india have that our india have the plateaus area our india have the mountain area and also very important islands all physical character are present in our india so with this chapter we talk about the indian physical features that means structural characters our india the six type of physical features are available will explain all the uh, structure physical structure the first is it, the himalayan this is the northern side and we know that is the jammu kashmir then himachal pradesh up uh, sorry uttarakhand then the if you come here sikkim assam arunachal pradesh this portion that portion is a part of the himalaya that is the total mountainous area the name of the you know about the jammu kashmir himachal pradesh then here is the uttarakhand sikkim then you come on assam and arunachal pradesh that is the mountain area then we know about the mountain area if you come on here this portion that portion are known as a plain area that is the part of the north side if you see that is the part of the north side so we know that is the northern plain that is total plain area our punia is a plain area if you go to the uttar pradesh that is plain area delhi west bengal some part of the rajasthan that is total plain area and some part of the assam this total plain area it is formed in north side so we call northern plain that is the that area is the northern plain area that is the second structure second physical features of india first is a mountain second is a plain next we talk about the very important the plateau this is also known as a peninsular plateau you know the, about that the south india the south india is a plateau area also the jharkhand that is the plateau area odisha odisha jharkhand andhra pradesh tamil nadu keral karnataka goa maharashtra chatisgarh madhya pradesh all are the huge area you south india is a plateau area we discuss about the plateau so the one is a mountain area second is a northern plain third is a plateau the south india is a plateau middle india is a plain area our punia is a plain area bihar is a plain area and mountain area so three very important physical features beside that i ask the question many students if we ask the question the, why the desert indian desert the many students say that the rajasthan is the indian desert area that is wrong answer 
that is not a rajasthan rajasthan have the big 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 cities like jaipur jodhpur the western rajasthan this portion that is the west side of rajasthan the western rajasthan jaisalmer that is the desert area so our india have the also the desert then you will come the coastal area our india this portion to that portion here is a bay of bengals here is a arabian sea here is a indian ocean beside the ocean the landmass area this portion beside the ocean that portion are known as a coastal area that is the also plain area beside the plateaus we found the coastal area and last large very important physical feature that is the island that is unknown as a lagdeep which situated in a arabian sea lagdeep which is situated in a arabian sea and the andam that is the andaman nicobar two island group one is a lagdeep and another is a andaman nicobar that is situated in bay of bengals that is total we talk about the physical features of india that means our india the six type of physical feature one is the north side is a mountain then middle part is a northern plain then south india that is the plateau area then we talk about the desert coastal plain and island this chapter we discuss about that and very important thing is that so we know about that the our india physical features the six the first is a himalayan next northern plain plateau area coastal area desert area and island now we explain the our india very important the mountain area which one is the mountain area that portion the north side of the india north east north to north east that is we call the mountain area first we discuss about the mountain area portion of india's is a northern india which covered by the mountain that name is a himalaya how it is formed in first chapter we discuss due to the earthquake that the thick ocean convert as a himalaya that is the newly folded mountain this is newly folded mountain this mountain actually start from north to north east total length of this himalaya is a 2400 km 2400 km it is length this is the jammu kashmir we know that is the arunachal pradesh some area suppose jammu kashmir that area is a 400 km wide but this area is a 150 km that is the wide that means it is look like a, this is look like a, this that is the mountain clear that means 400 km 150 km and 240 km that is unknown as a himalayas north side east side this is are known as a himalayas this himalayas we know that the largest and longest also the different type of peak 
we found on it there. You can say Mount Everest, which height is it? 8,848.9 meters. Then we talk about the Kanchanjanga, K2, everything, every peak, the largest peaks are located or situated on here the, in this Himalayas. And very important is there, very important the range. Here we found a different type of range also. This Himalayas, we now we classify the Himalayas. That is the north to south, that is the Himalayas north portion, that is the south portion. North to south, we classify the Himalayas as the three part. North to south, we classify the Himalayas as the three parts. If you see here, north to south, we classify the Himalayas as the three part. Which is the longest mountain area that are known as the Himadri Himalayas above 6000 meters above 6000 meter range all are part of the Himadri Himalayas above 6000 meter Mount, uh, Mount Everest is a 8848.9 that is a part of the Himadri why because above 6000 meter all the mountains are part of the Himalayas mountains. That is also known as the Inner Mountain. Inner Himalayas. You can say anything. If the question will become Inner Himalayas, if the question will become Inner, inner Mountains, or the question will become Himadri Himalayas, all are the same. Above 6000 meters, all the mountains is a part of the Himadri Himalayas. Next we come, next we come, the Himachal, that is known as the Himachal Himalayas. The height of Himachal Himalayas is a 370 meters to 600 meters, uh, 6000 meters. Between that, all the mountains are known as a Himachal Himalayas. That means above 6000 Himadri, 3700 meters to 6000 part of the Himachal. And last, very important, that's which is situated in the south side of the Indi, uh, south side of the Himalayas. That is the last. That is known as a Shivalik. North to south we classified. First is a Himadri. Second is a Himachal. Third is a Shivalik. Shivaliks the above 900 meters to 3700 meters that is known as the Shivalik. That is known as the Himachal. That is known as a Himatri. If you see that here, the Shiva League, Shiva League 9, 900 meter to 3700 meter, that portion is the Shiva League. 3700 meter to 6000 meter, that portion is the Himachal, Him, Himachal Himalayas, above 6000 is the Himadri Himalayas, that is the main area. If the question will become classified the Himach, uh, Himalayas according to the north to south, these three classified. And I will tell you very important, the Himachal Himalayas is a famous for the tourist place, different type of dunes, there are dunes. Different type of dunes or tourist place are available if, here. And this area, this area, Shivalik, that area is a 50 kilometer wide, 10 to 50 kilometer, 10 kilometer to 50 kilometer wide area. So the question will become 
classify then you will write the simple the which is the himadri which is the himachal and which is the shivalik that is the classification of north to south next classification we classified that is the north to south we know about that now we classified north to east this portion we know that here to here this portion is a 240 km the length we classify that length no this is the west side this is the east side we classify west to east himalaya as a three part four part one one part two part three part four part the first very important here is a we know the river name is the indus river and here is a satluj river between the indus and satluj that portion here we know that the punjab are located that is the punjab that portion himalayas are known as a punjab himalayas between indus river to satluj that portion himalayas are known as a punjab we know that that is the satluj here is a, here is the nepal nepal have the one famous river that name is a kali river you can say kali ganga also name the kali river pass through on here satluj to kali river that areas himalayas are known as a kumain himalayas or kumayun himalayas you can say kumayun or kumain himalayas so first punjab himalayas start from indus to satluj satluj to kali is a kumain himalayas then kali here is a tista river you know here is a tista river which is actually you found in a here the mahananda is here and beside the mahananda tista tista is a river of west bengal kali is a river of nepal and tista is a river of west bengal kali to tista that himalaya situated in nepal that here that is are known as a nepal himalaya here is a mount varest so that is very important first is the punjab himalaya second is the kumayun himalaya then nepal himalaya here is the tista river tista here is the dihang which we know also the brahmaputra tista to dihang here is the one himalaya that name is a here is a assam according to the assam name that himalaya tista to dihang that himalaya is known as a assam himalaya very easy that is the punjab himalaya which is start from the which is start from the indus to satluj satluj to kali is a kumayun kese kali to kese kumayun satluj to kali is a kumayun kali to tista that is a part of the nepal nepal himalaya and nepal to uh, sorry tista to brahmaputra dihang in arunachal pradesh are known as a assam himalaya because assam is here so that is the classification that is the explanation of himalaya that is very easy if you see that the according to north to south north to south we divide as a three first is a himadri himachal 
and Shivalik. That is the north to south or east to west. The four. One is a Punjab, second is a Kumayun, third is a Nepal, fourth is a Assam. So this portion is very easy. And if the question will be come on your exam, you will draw the map, draw the diagram, not only class 9, also class 10. So the map will be come. You will draw. If the question will be come, you will draw. The Himalayas are classified as a north to south three types, east west to east as a fourth part. So that is Himalayas. If the question will become, you will just classify that. Thank you.